All right, guys, if you've been watching my shorts, you know that I did a thing today. I bought these guys from Lowe's. Michael Myers and Freddy Krueger. I just took them out of the back of the Hummer and got them set up in here. They did not come with boxes. So it's a good thing that I still have this giant microwave oven box so I can store them safely in there. But what happened is I went online today. I've been looking at these guys and I'm like, should I buy them? Should I not buy them? Finally went online today and I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna buy them. So I went ahead bought them online at Lowe's.com to be picked up at the store. And a kind of cool, kind of not cool thing happened. When I got there to pick them up, I see them rolling out these guys just like this. And I'm like, wait a minute. Am I going to get some kind of a discount because these guys are the display ones? Because I had noticed that they weren't in their spot on the floor anymore. If you watched my Lowe's video with Michael Myers in the thumbnail, these are the exact two guys you can see that I show you that are up way high on a shelf, and then the uh, the try me buttons are down on the floor. And before I went to the counter to pick them up, I was like, I'm just gonna look at the Halloween stuff real quick, maybe get a fog machine or something. So I started looking at that stuff, and I noticed they weren't up there anymore, and there weren't any others on the floor, and I'm like, well, you know, maybe I just bought the last two. But oh no, they tried to pull a fast one on me. I got up there, they pull these guys out, and I'm like, no, no, cancel it. I want the boxes. These guys have been sitting there with people playing with them for a month. They did not have the boxes anymore. And the lady's like, we can give you 10% off. I said, no, just cancel it. And she's like, well, how about 15? I said, 25 and I'll do it. So she made a call. I got 25% off these guys. It truly is a bummer that I didn't get the original boxes because I really did want them. But you know what? 25% off is a pretty dang good deal. These were only $240 to begin with. So I got each of them for about $157. So I already have tested them out, but before we do anything else, let's go ahead and show you guys how these work. Let's start with Michael Myers, and he is actually marketed under the Halloween 2 title instead of Halloween or Halloween H2O or anything else like that. And look at that bouffant of a hairdo. <laughs> I can't stand that hairdo. Anyway, let's see what both of these guys do, and then uh, we'll break them down a little. Yeah, so there's Michael. That's the song he plays, which is not from any Halloween movie that I ever heard. But I'm sure it's a copyright issue for them to actually play the song from Halloween. It still is pretty creepy music, though. I like it. So that was Michael. That's all he does. He plays that song, and his arm with the knife just goes up and down in a stabbing motion. So let's move on to Freddy here. Now, he is really cool. <laughs> he actually says quotes from the movies and his bladed hand goes up and down. So both of these are basically the same mechanism. You just have one arm that goes up and down. The heads don't turn, the bodies don't do anything else. That's it. Freddy just does a little bit more than Michael in terms of sounds. What in the world? Oh. That scared the living crap out of me for a minute, guys. It's Friday night, and the Maslin Tiger Stadium is, like, just over that way. My heart was, like, doing convulsions for a minute when they set off those fireworks. And every time they make a touchdown, they set off a big boom. But anyways, let's get back to Freddy here, because I think he says two more things. I don't know what he said there. I missed it. <laughs> All right, so there's four sayings. There we go. I knew that was coming. And 
And we're going to stop that one right there because I honestly am not sure if I will get a copyright strike because of that song that's playing. So if you've seen the Freddy movies, you know what that is. And I am so glad that he plays that song because that is like the creepiest thing ever. So yeah, you can see that they work perfectly. Um, both arms go up and down. They make the sounds as they are supposed to. So let's take a closer look at these guys real quick here. All right, let's start with Michael and his bouffant of a hairdo. <laughs> That is just a crazy, fluffy hairdo right there. Um, I do remember in the movie Halloween 2 how the guy that was wearing the mask when he got hit by the car, he did have the big fluffy hairdo going on with the mask. Now, let me just tell you, in case you've noticed already, when I was putting these guys in the Hummer, they were standing up on a flatbed cart. I was taking care of Freddy, taking him apart. I was putting him in, and I hear this thump. I look over, and Michael is on the ground. He fell nose first and broke his nose, so he's got a little hole there. So I'm going to have to figure out a way to patch that up. That's really not all that bad of a thing. Um, taking a closer look at his eyes, he does not have eyes in there like pupils or anything. I thought maybe he would. Uh, it actually looks pretty good, but I think that the whites in there could use painting um, so that it's all black in there, just flat black eyes instead of having that white in there. That's... That just doesn't really look right. Um, the hands on this guy look pretty awesome. He has the veins in his hands. They, they look really good. The knife is huge. His other hand down here looks really good too. And it really is like human size hand. I know that sounds weird, but on some of these animatronics where they have hands, the hands are just really strange looking. They, like they didn't quite get it right. But his hands really do look pretty good. And then of course he has these black boots on, which are actually pretty small. Those look like they're about a size nine and a half. And moving on to Freddy here, let's just start with his boots because if you compare them, his boots are much bigger than those. Those are like a size nine and these are more like a 12. Also, these don't move. I don't know if they have this one set up incorrectly, but his feet just move all over the place. Freddy's glove looks pretty cool. It could look better in my opinion. Instead of just having that drawn thing, they could have at least uh, colored that all in so it looked like metal there. I do like how they have the detail of the welding on the blades there. That's pretty cool. And looking at his face, his face honestly looks really, really good. Let's take off his hat. And even without the hat, the head looks really, really good. That is a good mold for a Freddy face. And of course we have his fedora, which goes right up on his head. And that looks pretty awesome. I think the fedora could be just a little bit bigger to fit down over his head a little bit more. Because if you remember, Freddy's was kind of loose on his head. So there they are, guys. Michael and Freddy. Now, I will say this. These guys are definitely going to need to be beefed up. I mean, like, all you have in this structure, it's like, I don't even know what's up in here. It just feels like paper or cardboard. At least Freddy has, like, a plastic, a plastic form. So it kind of forms a chest cavity there. Um, their legs are nothing but skinny little tubes that go down. See? Like Lieutenant Dan. Lieutenant Dan, you got legs. New legs. <laughs> Freddy's is more of like a PVC, but it's it's that kind of plastic that like if you if you hit it on something, it's gonna break really easy. So what I will probably end up doing with these guys is getting good PVC pipe, maybe some of those pool noodles, something like that to beef them up. And honestly, Michael's face, I mean, this is okay, but he kind of looks more like Channing Tatum than Michael Myers. So I kind of want to see if I would be able to, like, I don't know, remove that head and put an actual good-looking Michael Myers mask on there. That would be much better. And I might even put real boots on these guys. I don't know. Anyway, stick around for that. You guys will be here for whatever I ended up doing with these guys. Right now, I am sweating like a hog up in this piece, and they're about to get loud over there at the stadium. And by the way, if you're wondering what this is back here, it's a replica of the stadium scoreboard that I built for my son back when he used to play for Maslin. 
and um, that was hanging in his bedroom, and I didn't want to get rid of it, so it's now hanging in my garage, and this is actually a TV in here. You can watch TV, so while I'm in here working on the garage, getting things done, I can put movies up there. 